Good morning, people of the internet. Hi, it's been a while since I have vlogged, so sorry about that. Um, but yeah, today is, what day is it? It's Wednesday, that's what day it is. And I'm having kind of a weird day today. Um, if you can tell, my hair is still wet. My hair is not thick, but takes forever to dry. Anyway, um, I worked for a little while, and now I am leaving. <laughs> I am headed off to my parents' place, and Jody, actually, from Life's Organized Chaos, I will link her channel below. You guys should follow her. Um, she has all the good things, and um, she is coming over to my parents' place because she is picking up a bed. So, um, I believe that she has the week off, like she's on like vacation or whatever. Um, she ain't going anywhere, but she's on vacation. So... <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, so she's coming over um, to my parents place, but we're social distancing So I'm not gonna be there, but she'll be there in about 40 30 40 minutes So I'm gonna head over there unlock make sure everything is good And then I believe her husband is coming with her to help her like load in the bed and stuff like that So anyways, that's what's going on here I'm gonna take you guys with me and I will show you the bed you guys will probably recognize the bed because I had the same bed not a, that exact bed but the same bed from Ikea years ago and it actually was here before this sofa was here so anyways um but yeah my parents ended up wanting to get a bed for themselves it's like a pull out uh like day bed and um worked for a few years for my parents but um since they have lots of really long people uh staying there it's not really working anymore and i'll show you why so um let me take you guys with me and i'll show you what's up and then yeah we'll be good and doyle says hello so i will see you guys in just a second Bye. okay so i'm at my parents place here is the bed in question so this bed you know um the problem is like i'm five six i can lay okay in the bed but you know as you sleep if you have your head on one side you kind of creep down and you know just doesn't work like my brother is what like six one or six two or something he can't really sleep in this bed unfortunately um so yeah, but I mean, it worked for quite a while and Jody is gonna use it and I think she's gonna be using it for her stepdaughter, I think? I don't really remember. But anyway, they have a plan for it. That's all that matters. It's a really cool bed. It pulls out into a full and it's got a bunch of storage underneath. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna move some stuff around and get, you know, this place ready for them to move stuff out. And uh, yeah, I'll just see you guys in a little okay. bit. My work is done here. Stripped the bed of all the things, moved some of the things I could. So there was like a little um, end table over here and there was a chair. I just moved out of the way to make it hopefully easier for them to move things. Um, so yeah, so we should be good. I looked for the instructions and unfortunately couldn't find them. Um, but they are downloadable on Ikea.com, so I just texted that to Jody. I swear my mom kept the, um, instructions, but I don't know. I don't know, guys. So, anyway. Oh, I'm gonna leave the light on. They're gonna be here soon. <laughs> so, anywho, that's that. So, I'm gonna go, but I need to, um, make sure that they take these flats with them too and I don't know where they are okay hold on I need to go to the shed I will be back I'm back home and now it's time to go back to work yay and while I was gone guess who decided to poop on the floor not me oh that dog I swear so had to clean that up before I started vlogging again but oh my gosh y'all this dog tests me every day every day well there's my screens and it's time to go back to work bye hey okay so i wanted to take just a little break from working and let you guys know so i live in minnesota and our stay-at-home order is through what day hold on i'm looking the 18th which is month this upcoming monday so typically what our governor does is the wednesday before the stay-at-home order is supposed to be 
he'll make some sort of announcement if there's modifications or like what's going on. So looks like he is going on a live broadcast tonight at 6 p.m. Normally he's been doing it at like 2 or 3 in the afternoon, um, but now I guess it's at 6 p.m. So I'll keep you guys posted. Uh, this news outlet is saying that they expect him to extend the peacetime emergency and announce modifications for the stay-at-home order. So, um, who knows? But I'll keep you guys posted. Um, I will be at my home office here um, until that ban is lifted. Um, but you know, it's gonna it's gonna be a little strange going back to like my normal daily office, anyways. So, um, and we're not all going back at the same time. We're all gonna um, have to go in waves just so um, you know people don't get sick, or if somebody is feeling sick, to send them home and. Um, all that stuff. So like our HR and uh, corporate is trying to kind of figure that out right now. But um, we can't do anything until that is lifted. So anyways, sometime this summer, maybe? I have no idea. I don't know what's happening, guys. I know every state's different, um, but I hope everyone is staying safe. And I just wanted to let you guys know because I just saw it on the internet. So anyways, I gotta change my uh, battery here. So I will continue vlogging after I'm done working. See you in a little bit, bye. Hey, so I am still sitting in the office. I just clocked out of work and I clocked out a little bit early because I was done with a few projects and my job has been really slow, like just today. Uh, so nothing else was like sitting in my email that night needed to be dealt with. So I was like, you know what? I think I'm gonna have an early day. So that is what I'm gonna do. Um, <laughs> since I'm having an early day out, I still have my containers from lunch. So I had leftovers, I had some leftover chicken and leftover rice, and um, I would normally put them on a plate, but why dirty up another dish, you know what I mean? So whatever. But anyway, I need to run back to my parents' place because Jody and her husband have been there and gone, and since I was busy doing work stuff, um, I'm gonna go lock up now. They got the bed okay. They said they had a little problem because one of the screws was stripped, unfortunately. So they couldn't get that out, but they made it work. So I was like, okay, perfect. So yeah, it sounds like they have it all set up at their house. So they're having fun playing with that and uh, showing other people how the bed works where you can actually like pull it out into a larger bed. So it's just like minds are being blown all over the place. But it's raining out now, so glad um, Jody decided to come early. So yeah, and then um, yeah, I don't know. I just you know, <laughs> like I don't know how to vlog, you guys. I don't know how to vlog. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm gonna go on my little adventure, and I'm only gonna be gone for a few minutes. Oh, but I wanted to say so. The whole way, like, I can take two separate, well, yeah. I can take two separate ways to get to my parents' place because they live very, very close to me. They're not here right now to answer any questions. Um, they're still in Florida. I think I might have said that earlier, but it's been a long time, so I don't remember anything. And I'm getting old, guys. I'm getting old. So, um, the whole way there was construction. Like, the road, apparently, well, I don't get out much, you know, like, because of all the things that are happening out in the world. So, I, like, got out, and I'm like, what is going on? The road is, like, legitimately ripped up, like, dirt road. And I don't live in an area that has dirt roads, so I'm like, what the heck? So it was the whole way there. There was like cones everywhere and all that. I'm like, okay. So on the way home, I took a different path. There was still a little bit of road construction, but not horrible. So um, yeah, so now I know don't, don't go that way, go that way. Or depending on where I am in the house, I don't even know. Anywho. Um, yes, I'm gonna run over there and check everything out, make sure everything is okay, make sure they grabbed everything, I'm sure that they did. There were some additional, um, parts that I found for them, so just wanna make sure they got those, I'm sure they did. Um, yeah, so Doyle is down there doing his Doyle things, and, uh, he's not gonna come with me, cause I wanna make this a quick trip, because I'm gonna get back here and I'm gonna do some other things, maybe, I, I don't know, maybe I need to edit. I don't know, just unmotivated, but 
such is life right now. You know what I mean? Okay, so uh, let's go over there and I'll show you around. Bye. I'm at my parents' place. <laughs> let's check this out. <gasps> There's no more bed. Dun da da da. No more bed. That is what we want to see. <gasps> okay, so perfect. I am going to put the other things back in here. So let's, let's do that. I put them in my parents' room. Um, there is a chair and an end table. I need to go back in there. So that is what we're gonna do. So let's do that. <laughs> All done. Okay, so it is good to go. I need to text my mom, just let her know, hey, this is done. So let's do that. Okay. Take a picture and we leave. Very exciting stuff. Oh, anyways. Oh, I also moved the dining table in the corner so it'd be easier for them to like get out, so. Um, I gotta move this too, hold on. <sighs> All right, dining table is back. So, that's it. That's it, that's all I gotta do here. Um, I'm going to leave one light on since they're not here, but you know, just wanna leave some sort of a light on the situation, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Ugh. And I like to um, leave the exterior lights on because, first of all, you know, then it seems like somebody's home when they're not. And second of all, it is like pitch black here <laughs> when there's no, um, you know, lights, lights on or anything. It is so, so dark. Interesting story. Year. I think it was last year. My mom actually fell and took a pretty hard tumble um, on the stairs because the lights were not on. <laughs> so it was like, oh no, poor favorite mama. So yeah, you definitely need to see out here because there's not really, I mean, there's a couple of street lights, but there's nothing like really close to like where their place is. I'm gonna go home, maybe edit for a little while, something like that, and then, um, yeah, it's six o'clock. The big conference, big TV spiel. So, anyway, all right, I'm gonna go. I will see you guys later, bye. I am back from Aaron's place. Took Joel on a quick little pee-pee walk. It's time for his treat. Let's see, you want it? Oh wow, he's so gentle. <laughs> Such a gentle boy. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to edit for a little bit. I did post a video today. I'll link it if I can remember. I finally got my Erin Condren launch day haul, which was awesome. So I got that, so that's what I posted today. And then um, I have already filmed, but I need to edit my, um, it's an Erin Condren teacher lesson planner. So that'll probably be up Friday, maybe? I don't know. So that'll happen. So I need to do that. And Doyle is doing weird stuff. Anyways, we're gonna go to the bathroom together. Not like that, but you know what I mean. Um, I need to put my hair up. Ooh, I don't know about you guys, but having my hair down for just even a little bit of the day kinda drives me. Drives me a little wild some days. Anyway, I just I think I just operate better with my hair up. Uh, or my hair shorter, which my hair is very long right now. So, it's time to get it done at some point, but uh, can't do that right now because all the salons are not available or not able to open up. Once my salon is able to open up, then I'll, I'll make an appointment. Ta da! <laughs> so, let's get my hair done in February, I think. And because uh, I wasn't feeling great, I canceled my appointment and I never rescheduled because I was like, oh, I'll figure it out. And then all this stuff started happening. And usually my ladies booked out like months in advance. So I'm sure it's gonna be a long wait, but that's okay. I don't mind having long hair, but again, just 
throw it on up. Okay, so I am going to go and do some editing and then I will just talk with you guys in probably a few hours. See you then, bye. Okay, okay, smoky. Well, hey, um, Doyle is uh, sitting on the soft sofa on the soft blanket with his soft body. It's just a plethora of softness over there. Um, so yeah, I did a little bit of editing. I talked to my mom for a little while. So uh, update, I watched, this is gonna be a really long vlog, I feel like. Um, I watched the governor thing on the television and the things that affect me are there is no more stay at home order. However, the governor is encouraging everyone that can stay home and can work from home to continue doing so. I think that's really smart and I don't know what's gonna be happening with my office, but I know that they're definitely going in waves of people to go back into the office and they're taking people that want to go in first when those dates are actually, when the dates, what am I trying to say? When that actually happens, we don't know yet. So that could be a month and you know a month out. I have no idea, but um, I am not going to be the first to raise my hand. I will guarantee that. I do miss my coworkers. I love them. They are amazing people. Um, but I uh, still feel very connected to them. We do online hangouts, happy hours, um, you know, virtual meetings. We do meetings on the phone or video meetings and stuff too. We all text each other. So, um, you know, we all have access to our emails and phones. So I still feel connected to them. And I feel like for me personally, with what I do for the team, that I am still feeling connected so I don't feel that push to go back into the office it's just not on a like high priority for me um, so what our governor said today and um, he said gatherings of 10 or less people uh, are okay but obviously to practice you know, washing hands, uh, distancing as much as possible, but 10 or less is okay. And then um, retail, some retail locations are able to open up, I guess, on the 18th or 19th, sometime next week. Um, I don't have the actual dates, sorry. Um, but they're only able to have like a 50% capacity of people in their stores at any given time. So they clearly need time to prepare and sanitize and get some precautions in place and get a process in place and probably have somebody at the front door, you know, doing a one in one out when they're at capacity, I would assume. But, um, you know, the national chains are still open and have been open this entire time, like, you know, Target and Walmart and, you know, our local grocery stores, Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, things like that. Those have been open. Um, so like retail places, like clothing shops, furniture stores, things like that is, um, I think what he's talking about. I don't know. I mean, I'm clearly not a politician, nor do I work for the government. <laughs> um, but yeah, still, unfortunately, no salons or barbers or anything like that. Um, and then also restaurants are able to open, um, but at, I think still a 50% capacity if I remember right. I don't know, I watched it a couple of hours ago and my mind is a little old, so. <laughs> Anyways, but um, yeah, again, I'm not gonna be the first one to go to a restaurant. Um, I just don't feel super comfortable at this point and I think that everybody needs to uh, respect people where they are and you know if people want to have gatherings of 10 and give hugs and kisses and all that that's fine but that's just like not for me right now so I want to stay healthy and make sure that I am keeping myself comfortable in my body and also my mind it's like two separate things but they all connect you know what I mean so anyway that is that and um yeah i'm making some dinner making some macaroni and cheese because i don't i don't know what else to eat guys um i had some chicken and rice for lunch i think you guys oh you didn't see it but you saw like empty containers so i had that for lunch and i'm like hmm it's almost eight o'clock i should probably have some dinner so 
it's time for mac and cheese because that's what I have. I think I'm gonna call it quits here because I have been rambling on for like 10 minutes now and hopefully I can trim this baby down a little bit, but I feel like this is gonna be really like a really long vloggy vlog because I haven't vlogged in like over a week, so I feel like I had a lot to say. Anyway, um, there is the duber being weird. What are you doing, bud? What are you doing? Huh? Nothing. Anyway, but yeah, Doyle and I are going to go. <gasps> Thank you guys so much for hanging out and watching. Um, so yeah, but I will be back with another video soonish. Um, I will have that other video up on Friday, I think. I think I'm scheduling it for Friday. It's currently uploading right now, so fingers crossed, Friday. I will probably get this video up in the meantime. But um, I'll be back with another vlog soonish, someday. I don't know, maybe tomorrow, maybe in a week. I don't know. But I just like sharing with you guys. So, anyways, um, I'm gonna go. Thanks for hanging out. Feel free to give a thumbs up, subscribe, follow me on the Instagram down below if you want more daily updates. And um, I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow or any other time. Bye. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> give it to me, baby. Yeah.